Developing a vaccine typically takes around 10 years and can cost up to a billion dollars. But as the Ebola epidemic ravages West Africa and spreads into the Western world, researchers are rushing to find a cure. You know, this is an infectious diseases war, the worst outbreak in history. The need for these countermeasures, of course, is more keenly felt at this point in time. Here at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, doctors like Colonel Stephen Thomas and Colonel Sean Remick are fast-tracking human trials of a promising vaccine. We did in about six weeks what would normally take about six months. So far, the vaccine's animal data has been outstanding, proving to protect 100% of monkeys from Ebola. But unlike mainstream vaccines, there is no Ebola virus in the actual injection. Instead, it contains a cow virus engineered to look like Ebola to the immune system. As it replicates, as a live virus would, it, it puts on a coat that looks like Ebola. The body says, ah, uh, you look like Ebola, and it mounts a response to it. That response will be remembered, we hope. The biggest challenge for researchers is that they can't determine the vaccine's efficacy by exposing people to Ebola during the trial process. That means the vaccine can only be tested for safety. If you do not go through this process of product development uh, and you skip steps, you potentially put people at risk for harm and you potentially put out products that may not work and not only may not work but actually may make the situation worse. Over the course of the trial, the doses are bumped up and volunteers are monitored for side effects. So what we're really watching for is safety signals. Do you have joint pain? Do you have muscle pain, headaches? So far, the vaccine appears to be safe, and strong preliminary data is expected in December. But even if it moves quickly through the clinical trials, there's still no guarantee the vaccine will actually work. That's the million-dollar question, really. Uh, will we have effective vaccines uh, for this particular outbreak? It's, and it's very difficult to tell.